Greetings and welcome back to Old Ways Rising Farm. We're going to do a quick walk around the farmyard video here and I want to talk to you a bit about siting pastures. How do you decide where to put pastures on your landscape when you're establishing a new farmstead? And this goes back to the permaculture design idea of zones of land use. And you want to make sure that you have key important features of your pasture in zone one, or if not in zone one, in part of zone two, which is very close to the house, right? Very close to your activity centers. So I'm starting at this corner. We'll say hi to the sheep. Those are awful cute sheep. Go give them a thumbs up if you like those cute sheep. But anyway, um, I'm starting at this corner of the pasture because this is our current water point. This is the, the only water point at this moment in the pasture. And you can see the garden hose is draped directly into it at the moment. And this is as far as I can get and get from the, the wellhead and still be able to stretch a garden hose to it efficiently. So that's the anchor point for this pasture design, the water, that's the start, okay? Then as we move, we have the shelter, and then that is, this region here is the back of the main chicken run. If I pan over here a bit, to the beautiful forsythias, this is our small chicken run that has the bandoms in it. Those we use for setting eggs, because of course we're off grid, so we can't use an electric incubator. So we have a small flock of silkies and silky crosses that we use for, for uh, brooding, and that works quite well. As long as the male folks don't, you know, drop kick the eggs, which they do sometimes when we've ordered them. <laughs> and then here we have the main chicken coop, okay? A garden between and the main chicken coop right there. So all of this is in a fairly contained space. Now, if we move a little bit farther out, and you can see the current project, which is, you can also see junk that I picked up that blew around over winter. But we have an ongoing project over here related to the chickens, which is that bank of breeding coops. If you're interested in these, we did a, a longer video on these a couple weeks ago talking about how these doors are made, but these are coops for pair mating and selective breeding of our chickens. And this is still a, pro a project that is in progress. It looks like a construction zone because it's a construction zone. So um, these are further away. These are about, oh, 100, 150 feet from the water point back there, but these are only going to be used occasionally for short periods of time. So this is a little bit farther away because we're not going to access it as often. These chickens will um, only be in here for a month while they're sitting on eggs and a few weeks before while they're breeding and a few weeks after until the peeps are large enough that they can handle going out into the main the main um, chicken pasture. So because this is not going to be maintained permanently with birds in it, it can afford to be a little bit farther from the food and water stores without being obnoxious, right? You don't want to spend all of your time just walking to the facilities, right? You want to be able to get your chores done and get on with something that's more interesting. So this is you know, how you want to think about it. The, when you're establishing your first pasture and first water point, convenience and ease of access is a very important criteria. And in some cases, even more important than, you know, some other things like quality of the pasture, right? Our first pasture is not our best pasture. It's kind of a sacrifice pasture. It's where we will give you know, hay food for food and water, the supplemental feeding. Um, and then as we build additional pastures, they'll get into the better, uh, you know, the better territory that will grow grass more rapidly. So this is, 
some things to think about. I hope that it is useful for you, and I will see you next time on Old Ways Rising Farm.